Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're taking a quick look at a few C31 construction zone traffic control exam questions. 205 traffic cones are required for a lane closure. The cost of renting one cone is 52 cents per day. What would be the rental cost for eight days? The correct answer is $852.80. A portable changeable message sign must display at least how many characters per line? The correct answer is D, 7. A pilot vehicle is being used on a traffic control project. Cyclists need to get through the closure. What is the best option for the C31 contractor? The correct answer is D. It depends on the conditions and discussions with the inspector and prime contractor. Now these are just a few of the thousands of possible questions that could appear on the C31 exam. Obviously, you're going to need to know about designing traffic control plans, evaluating compliance with California MUTCD and other regulations, verifying permits, estimating, inspecting and maintaining traffic control zones, personal protective equipment. There's a lot that could appear on the exam. And again, there's a ton of questions that are going to appear. So you want to make sure that you're prepared, that you're looking at the right material, and that you're familiar with, with uh, what kinds of questions could potentially appear on the test. Now, 16% covers planning and estimation, 4% covers permits and notifications, 56% covers traffic control installation, and 24% covers safety. Now, what we've done is we've taken everything that you need to know about the construction zone traffic control trade and we've summarized it into a cliff note format it's basically a complete trade review covering exactly what's on the exam it's presented in a clearly written way with tons of examples descriptions and visual diagrams now this could come in the form of either an ebook or physical study guide online practice tests, you're going to get online videos, mathematics courses to make sure that you're prepared for those math related questions, and then of course an application review to make sure that your application is filled out correctly before you send it off to the CSLB. Now I just wanted to make this video because a lot of you guys were asking about the exam questions. We've got two other videos you're definitely going to want to check out. One goes into the exam uh, a lot deeper, specifically on the law. Also, what kind of math concepts are going to be on the C31 exam, and then a lot of other information that you're definitely going to want to check out. And then we've got another one that goes into the requirements. Um, basically, everything you need to know about getting licensed in California, how long it takes, uh, the certification of work experience for the C31, how you need to describe your experience, who can sign off for you. So you're definitely going to want to check out those two videos. And then we also have our C31 crash course. If you're interested, you can check it out in the links below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.